Uh, my name is Gilby Clark. I'm actually a guitar player by trade. Um, I used to play with Guns N' Roses back in the wild days, and uh, now I play uh, in a couple different bands. I've played with Heart over the last couple years, the Reformed MC5, and I have a band called Gilby Clark. And uh, still touring the world. But uh, I've been into vintage motorcycles uh, for a long time, really long time. Uh, I've had my pan head since 1988. And uh, back then, you know, we couldn't get parts, you know, by going on the internet and stuff. You know, we really had to know people, have connections. You know, when you call people, they didn't answer their phones back then, so it was a real surge. So uh, for me, Born Free is, uh, is just ridiculously exciting. You know, this is a really fun place to go to, to see all these bikes back in action, where for years and years, you know, they were, uh, you know, in the barns and, you know, nobody wanted to ride them. They wanted the new Evos and things. So this is, uh, for someone like me, this, this is awesome. I think uh, the good and bad about uh, the resurgence of this vintage motorcycle scene, especially with the younger kids getting involved, um, there is good and bad on both sides. It's great because if you need a part, you can actually find it. Um, it's bad because we're all after the same stuff. You know, when a really great part, you know, good old Springer comes around, a narrowed one or something, we all want it. And we're fighting against each other to find it. Um, I think it's great seeing the younger kids getting involved, you know, because they are not only just uh, resurrecting the past, but they're taking it to a new level, man. What I think about the invited builders and uh, the regular people riding in their bikes is, uh, once again, it blows my mind to see the quality of what these guys are building. I mean, we're still building the same old machine, you know, it's a, it's a you know a knuckle, pan, shovel, and a four-speed and on a rigid. But to see what these guys have done with this, you know, uh, you know, it, it, they've brought art into it. You know, they have made these motorcycles an art piece. You know, uh, and and the talent of you know what these guys have in their fucking heads is just ridiculous. You know, I mean, uh, you know, once again, Caleb always blows my mind all the time how he can go from a rigid pan, you know, to go to a shovel head that he's doing right now. It's just, it's it's amazing. You know. Um, some of these guys, uh, you know, don't do this for a living, you know, this is a, really a hobby, a glorified hobby, you know, to see the, the dedication that they put into it, you know, once again, is ridiculous.